you know, subatomic particles follow these dynamics as well. Mesons are vector equilibrium. Baryons are isotropic vector matrices. And then I noticed that's extremely small, right? Then I noticed that in the extremely big, the same dynamics are found. These are supernova explosions here on the right, uh, on, the, on your left. And this is a crop circle. Can everybody see this here? It's hard to see. Uh, maybe we can show up the light. There you go. That, is that easier? Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, when this occurred, I got really excited. I'm like, oh my God, they took a picture of the geometry of space. So I'm like calling my local astronomers and stuff. And I'm like, you guys took a picture of the geometry of space according to my theory. Those big loops that you see that makes petals, that's because, you know, like a supernova explosion is a star that explodes, right? So you don't expect that it's going to organize in a very specific pattern. It's supposed to just go into a chaotic mess, right? But it didn't. This is the first supernova we ever photographed, and it made huge circles intersecting, making a petal structure. So I got excited. Well, they all told me I was full of you-know-what, and uh, that, you know, this was just a random event. Well, well, from one random event to the other, uh, they take, took picture of a next supernova, you know, that exploded <laughs> and generated exactly the same thing. Intersecting ring, making petal-like structures, just like what I had predicted. And then this one was really sweet because when you look closer in the middle, there was an eye, like the eye of Horus, you know? Even with a twinkle in the eye. <laughs> but what got me really excited about that one is that the two intersections